All right, what's going on, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. We're going to be looking at Lemonade. All right, that's L M N D. And um, <clears throat> we're looking at the weekly chart right now. And I've been telling you guys that small caps are getting murdered. Okay. Um, Lemonade is one of them, uh, has very high short interest, things like that. So, you know, um, this thing's been going down. Okay. Um, I initially was trying to figure out if I wanted to invest in this in the summertime and see if it was like, you know, a good buy basically, because it was down very much from the highs of 188. Okay. Um, but, you know, it had this rounded top, which was like a sign of bearishness to me. Okay. So I stayed away. And, um, you know, this is technically kind of um, an inverse cup and handle pattern. Okay. And basically it's like, here's your inverse cup, your upside down cup, and then here's your handle. And then the breakout, okay, is basically from your base of the cup to the top of the cup, right? So um, I duplicated this drawing and uh, put it over here at the highs of the handle, okay? Because, um, you know, this was the highs on the handle, this area right here. Um, and, you know, that is going to take us down to 32.22, all right? So <clears throat> I definitely think that this one has the potential to go down to 32 and drop more. But I am really, really, really interested in it, honestly, for um, some, some, you know, possibly some long term positions, OK, or some swing trades. All right. Um, for 2022, um, I think that this thing has been getting beat down and that um, all the money, you know, uh, going into Apple and these big caps that are giving it the big rally and all the money going into the S&P, OK, is coming from these small caps. All right. And they're selling off their, their tax loss harvesting. They're pushing this thing down as much as they can. And I think Q1 or Q2 of 2022, they're going to come back in and get these things, in, um, you know, buy these things at a much, much, uh, you know, discounted rate. Okay. They're going to get them on sale and go ahead and make their money. All right. Um, now, if we go to the daily chart, I want to go ahead and show you guys there is um, a nice little daily gap. Okay. Um, all the way up to here. Uh, which is right around 126, 127 area. I'll go ahead and draw that up for you guys uh, right here, right now. And basically, essentially, um, daily gaps tend to fill about 90 to 95% of the time. It's just a matter of when, okay? So you don't know exactly when they're going to fill, but you do know that statistically they are going to fill, right? So the reason that I'm making this video today is because if you, if you bought shares at the price that it's at currently and you held until the gap filled, that's a 226% return. All right. Now, this may not happen quickly. This may not happen in three months. This may not happen in six months. Right. I mean, I would I would like for that to happen. That would be nice. OK, but I'm preparing myself mentally. OK, hey, well, you know, lemonade might be a while. OK, it may take a year, two years, a couple years for this gap to fill. Um, you know, let's say what if there's a bear market in the, uh, you know, in the <clears throat> in the stock market. Right. And then this thing wouldn't be filling. OK, and you wouldn't be going up. So you do have to be cautious, um, you know, but it definitely is looking good to me. It's beat down so much. OK, we're hovering right around 40 from the highs of 188. Um, let's go ahead and let, let's see how much of a, of, of a drop that is. Over 78 percent. OK, so, I mean, if you guys like sales, 75 percent off right here lemonade okay um so that's the whole reason i'm making this video okay is yeah you know if you didn't have some proper risk management and let's say let's say you thought you were buying the dip right because the highs from here down to here um is down about 38 percent. okay so let's say you were patient and you saw lemonade go from 188 you're like no i don't want to buy there that's the top right then you saw it drop down to 61 you showed us you saw it show all these signs of life all right. At 113, you buy in at 113. And now you've just been bag holding ever since because, you know, you thought that you bought the dip. You thought it was going to recover. And it's just been going down, going down, going down, going down. And, you know, it hasn't shown any signs of a reversal yet. So that's the main thing. OK. Um, like I said, you know, I do think that this thing can go down to 32. That's definitely possible. Um, but it is good to start looking at for some swing trade positions, uh, you know, and just manage your own risk and your own profit. If you guys need some stop loss tutorials, um, I have a tutorial on how to do a trailing stop loss. And I also have a tutorial on how to do a regular stop loss. OK, um, trailing stop losses are pretty nice when you're in profit. Um, you know, those are typically when you tend to want to use those and, um, you know, a stop loss. If, if you enter a position and you don't want to have to check it, 
um, you know, you can just enter a stop loss. And as long as your stop loss is not triggered, then, you know, things should be going right in your play. And if your stop loss gets triggered, then, you know, you can go ahead and, um, you know, reevaluate um, and see if you want to get back in or if you just want to wait it out because this thing is dropping even more. All right. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if there's any other stocks you guys want me to analyze, any tickers, um, stocks, crypto, anything like that. I'll dive right into it and uh, give you guys an analysis video as soon as I can. All right.